Now, the Department of Animal Science at the University of Ghana has commenced a trial on the adaptability and growth performance of some five dual-purpose chicken breeds under the former management systems. The project DAPT, the Tropical Poultry Genetic Solution, is a two-year uh, genetics innovation strategy that seeks to test and identify high-producing farmer-preferred chicken genotypes. The initiative aims at reducing poverty while strengthening food and nutrient security for rural households. Here's more in this report. Despite Ghana's poultry industry suffering varied setbacks in recent years, the demand for poultry products is on ascendancy. Reports suggest about 80% of local poultry keepers depend on indigenous scavenging chickens, which have low meat and egg producing potential. Under the Tropical Poultry Genetic Solution Project, the Department of Animal Science, University of Ghana, is experimenting with new poultry breed for higher production performance. Ricky Abajipoku is the deputy project lead. The performance of these local indigenous chickens are quite poor in terms of productivity. Small body weight, give you fewer eggs, uh, even though they are adaptive to the environment. So there was the need to research into how best we can improve these breeds, local breeds, blend them with some of the commercial and then get good performing birds. But when you do those engineering, you need to do some trial on field because uh, you've done the engineering all right, but it might not necessarily work on the field, you understand. So there was a need for us to do this field trial to see the adaptiveness of these new breeds that we are bringing on board. The new breeds are a hybrid of exotic and indigenous poultry species reared for both meat and eggs. Dr. Raphael Ayizanga is with the Department of Animal Science, UG. Uh, we are going to try Sasso, Noela, Habad 1, Habad 2, and then Kuroila, which, uh, so the first phase we had Habad, which we mixed up, and then Kuroila. This time we are adding uh, three more, the Sasso, the Noela, and uh, we are going to separate the uh, Habad into Habad 1 and 2. We are trying all these lines because they have been tried elsewhere and found to they have increased body weight, uh, weight at maturity has been much bigger than what we had and then they are also laying more eggs and we thought this one will give our farmers more money. What we have now, they are adapted more to our low input systems, therefore they don't give us as much as we, we, we want. And we want to move away from, uh, as I said earlier, farming as a way of life to farming as a business or a model for poverty alleviation. Ashanti Regional Livestock Officer Ajman Prempo Fori is upbeat about the project's benefits for the region. With this intermediate base, the little feed you give, the little care you give, it is also giving you the maximum yield you want. So they are one, resilient to diseases, they can scavenge for feed, and the little feed you can support it with, you get your results. So coming into the middle of the local chicken and the foreign chicken, I think this, of course, is going to help our local farmers uh, make a headway in production. A beneficiary of the first phase, Comfort Champoma, a poultry farmer at Achim Ejampoma, explains the project has improved her livelihood. <laughs> It wasn't easy initially, but I was able to make profits to invest into the business. I have more birds for sale in December. Okay, the trial is expected to be conducted across seven regions under three agroecological zones, including the transitional, forest, and coastal savanna zones. For Joy News, my name is Emmanuel Bright Kweku.